All right, so Amun wisdom from the Rebbe for today. So when it comes to the rules of Hanukkah, the Rambam brings that if a person has enough money only for either Neris Hanukkah, the lights for Hanukkah, or that of Shabbos, the Shabbos ones come first, because the Shabbos candles are there to make peace in the house, and peace of the house comes first. Now the Rebbe asks in a lot of places, seemingly this is very strange. Why is the Rambam bringing this rule, which is seemingly about Shabbos, in the rules of Hanukkah? Seemingly the conclusion is that Shabbos comes first, so it's mostly a rule about Shabbos. And especially the second half of the halacha, in the next halacha, the Rambam says that if a person has enough money only for Kiddush or Neres Shabbos, the Shabbos candles come first. Now it's very strange. Again, this has nothing to do with Hanukkah, and there it doesn't even mention candles of Hanukkah. So the Rebbe explains that the idea is that really Hanukkah is a very, very important part of it, is the idea of peace. And this is because we see the difference between Hanukkah candles, the way we light it now, versus that in the base of Mikdash. The way we light Hanukkah candles now has eight candles, and we light it specifically after it's already dark. As opposed to the candles in the base of Mikdash only had seven, and they would light it before it was dark, by Plaga Mincha. Now the reason for this difference is that the Hanukkah candles are the idea of lighting up the darkness. There is, so we wait till there's a time of darkness, and then we come and we light it up with light. And that's the idea as well why it's number eight, because it comes from higher than a a level which is much, much greater. This is like the difference between a Balchuva and a Tzaddik. A Tzaddik is someone who originally has only good, but a Balchuva is someone who has the bad and transforms that itself to good, and that's a much greater advantage. But there's also an advantage in a Tzaddik, that he never had any connection to bad in the first place. And that's also the idea, the, the ultimate though, is to be able to have both of those come together. That you're able to have the tzaddikim doing tshuva as well, as it will be in the time of Mashiach, you'll have both advantages. And that's like the idea of Hanukkah, where Hanukkah has both advantages, that even though right now it's something which is like about tshuva, that it's connected to bad and then transforms it, but it stems from the base of Mikdash candles, where there was no bad in the first place, and therefore it has both advantages of being a tzaddik and a about tshuva. And that's why Hanukkah is the idea of peace specifically, as peace is when two opposite things come together. A tzaddik and a tshuva aveda come together, and that's why the the main thing is about a wife and husband coming together. Peace in the house, as two opposites come together, is the ultimate unity, and that's expressed in Hanukkah. L'chaim, l'chaim.